<laughs> mean girls, oh. bullies reign, but in dork diaries, don't like mean girls. The nice girl finds a way to win. The book series is a New York Times and USA Today bestseller. The newest novel came out days ago, and the series just sold its 25th millionth copy. Dork Diaries is published by Simon & Schuster, that's a division of CBS. Chip Reed is at a bookstore in Alexandria, Virginia, where the dorks rule. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. Yes, Dork Diaries is written under the pen name Rachel Renee Russell, but it's really a team effort. They call it Team Dork, and if you're uncomfortable with the word dork, get used to it, because millions of girls are turning dorkism into a movement. That's for Sarah. Rachel Renee Russell and her daughters, Erin and Nikki, call themselves Team Dork, and they have millions of tweens wrapped around their fingers with the diary of Nikki Maxwell. Nikki turns dork into something to be proud of as she navigates the trials of middle school with her BFFs, Zoe and Chloe, spending most of her time trying to outsmart Mackenzie Hollister, her arch nemesis and bully. Raise your hand if you are a dork. <laughs> Can I raise two hands? <laughs> Can I do jazz hands? A double, a double dork? Yes. What is a dork? A dork is a person who may be considered unusual to others. Um, they're very independent. Dork was a very derogatory term, and I mean, kids, your feelings are hurt if you're called a dork. But since 2009, and the uh, uh, Dork Diaries come on the scene, it's a term of endearment, it's a term of empowerment, and it's good to be a dork. It's not just the word dork, there's also dorkalicious, a dorkable, and dorkify. Oh, that's my favorite. Is that's that... when I get to draw people in dork diary style. <laughs> you dorkify them. And it's all a huge hit with their young fans. Can you all guess who it is? Yes, it's you! Come on up and get your dorkification. Who see themselves as dorks. A dork is someone who has a lot of life problems. People call me weird, but I just, I just go with the flow. You're helping middle school girls. We both thought that we were just freaks, but turns out there are a lot of kids who feel that way, and if I can help them through my trauma, I'll do it. <laughs> As kids, Aaron and Nikki were both bullied by their own real Mackenzie, and the books are loosely based on their experiences. This is middle school. So this yeah. was the inspiration for Dork Diaries. We made lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> Those lemons include the event that convinced Rachel to put pen to paper. I was married 25 years, and I went through a divorce, and it was pretty traumatic. I basically lost everything, house, cars. Part of my motivation for wanting to write the book was to um, try to uh, launch into an, another career and generate some cash. And it paid off big time. So this is the house that Dork built. Yes, it is. And sometimes I pinch myself to make sure I'm not dreaming. <laughs> the writing is collaborative, but Nikki is trusted with her namesake's image. What do her eyes tell you about her? I think these eyes tell you that she is funny and that she is outgoing and she is also warm. Rachel says she made Nikki white simply because that's how she imagined her when she started writing. Nikki's best friends are African American and Latina. All of the books have one big thing in common. You should treat people the way you would want to be treated. The golden rule. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And, and, rule. and if you are treated poorly or bullied, number one, it's not your fault. Number two, seek help from an adult. And number three, do not let it get under your skin because you should always let your inner dork shine through. What that means is believe in yourself and Charlie, Nora, and Gail embrace your inner dork because you have been <laughs> dorkified. I love it. So cool, Chip. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. A dork is cool. Like it.